team coverage continues now with more on the company Freed says she hired to investigate the Orlando freefall ride. As News 6's Amanda Castro reports, the company is no stranger to Central Florida and actually investigated after a roller coaster accident in Daytona Beach a few years ago. Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services Commissioner Nikki Freed says they're calling in outside help. This is taking it a step further. Hiring Quest Engineering and Failure Analysis to conduct an independent investigation into last week's Orlando freefall incident that resulted in the death of 14-year-old Tyree Sampson. The firm's website says they use the latest science and forensic technology to reconstruct accidents and the state has hired them before. They will help us uh, look at the engineering of the ride and, and come up with any, it, as in the sand plaster incident that we had, they were able to uh, do a root cause analysis for us and tell us exactly where the failure happened. Quest Engineering investigated the sand blaster roller coaster derailment at the Daytona Beach Boardwalk back in June of 2018. Six people were injured. It took a week for the firm to conduct its investigation and release its findings, determining speed was the primary cause of the derailment. Adding investigators also found grooves in the track, some of them painted over, which they say is evidence the coaster derailed several times in the past. The state says those prior derailments were never reported. Regarding the Orlando freefall, Freed says the independent engineers will reconstruct the incident which is something she says state engineers don't do. The ones that we have hired where the, our forensic experts go through and are able to go back and look at the calibrations, go back, back and look at, at the mechanisms and the movements, um, which is not what our, what our engineers do. Our engineers are purely making sure that the equipment is put up to par and the standards that per the manual. After concluding its investigation, the state shut down the sand blaster roller coaster. As for the Orlando free fall, we reached out to Quest Engineer to learn more about their role in the investigation, and we're waiting to hear back. Reporting in the newsroom, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.